I'm delighted to be sharing the mic for this match with Matthew Richardson. Welcome. Thanks, Dennis. I've been looking forward to this one all week. Unfortunately, I never got the chance to play in a dream time at the G match, Dennis. It's definitely one of those matches that all players want to play in, and the spectacle always turns out to be a cracking one. Contending today's match is Collingwood and Essendon. Here come Essendon. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. The banners look great as the players get set to run through them. We have the toss of the coin. Essendon kicking with the wind in this opening turn. Just waiting for the opening siren now. The players launch into the first turn. If you train hard, you'll not only be hard, but you'll be hard to beat. We will see as this game unfolds which team has put in the hard yards. Reed slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. A good mark under the circumstances. Slams it on the boot. Takes that one strongly. 50 metres out. Sends the ball inside his attacking 50. A good mark under the circumstances. 30 metres out. Golden opportunity here. Hocking going for number one. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. The first goal by Hocking. There's one for the time capsule. His teammates rush over. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Has it now. Reed with the football. Grundy throws the ball. Free kick. Pipple feeds it wide. The mark is taken by Miles. A lovely drop pass. Strong mark by Green. 50 metres from home. Green shoots for goal. It's in the air. A monster of a kick gets home. Chalk it up six points. Green getting his first. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Very happy with that kick. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. One down by Leuenberger. Handball short. Nice interception. He gives the ball away. Langdon. Hand passes the ball to the runner going past. Dishes it off by hand. Merritt kicks. Strong mark by Wells. Wells sends one up towards the wing. A solid mark from Pendlebury. He kicks the ball out of congestion. Great mark. Main lines it up. Nice drop punt. Greenwood, the better man there. 50 metres out. Slams it on the boot. Pellick was surrounded, he needed to mark it, and he did. Kelly with the mark. The Bombers could bypassing their four targets and having shots on the run with very few marks inside Ford 50. Hey, she goes for home. That's a great goal.
Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Ace with the goal and he runs back into position. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here we go. Grundy taps it. Has it now. Crisp receives the ball. Nice interception. Merritt with the ball. Golsack takes him down, but the kick is away. It bounced straight into his hands as if he'd just called a puppy with a whistle. Takes possession. Well, it's just so quick off the mark that his opponents often get caught out. Don't give him an inch or you will not get near this guy. Grundy looked about as coordinated as Disney's Goofy. Hippel upended by Pendlebury. Gets a handball away. Langdon delivers a nice bump for Merritt. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Sends the Sharon on its way. Pendlebury enjoying a height advantage. Choose to kick it. Good mark on the run. Goddard has his feet firmly on the ground and is just a great leader around the club. Passes by hand. He slams that on the boot. He comes off hands. He picked it up off the ground. Heppel gets possession. Maynard gets bumped. Puts boot to ball. Pendlebury bumps. Good hand skills there. He's blocked it. Reed with the ball. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. Quick hands finding the running player. Lewenberger didn't waste the opportunity. Hooker hand passes the ball. Sending it on its way. Crisp with a strong mark. Gets boot to high. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Puts boot to ball. Great grab. Low kick. Pendlebury with the mark. Works it across the ground. Elliott claims the ball. 50 metres out. And he's kicking on a 30 degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. He receives the handball. Myers trying to strangle him with that tackle. Chips it down towards half forward. A great effort. Lining up the goal now. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Goal fit for Solo. He sinks his first goal. Richo, this match keeps getting better and better. For Solo, he's got all the makings required to become a great servant of this football club. I reckon he could become a 200-game player. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. He's happy with that effort, and so he should be. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Bill Chambers with the mighty fist. He smashes and bashes him. He picks it up. A short handball. Oxley, cool under pressure, releases in time. Kelly has the ball. Superb handball. It's with him now. Ace. You don't have to wait and see that that's a goal. His fist is pumping. That's two in a row for the Magpies. Calling with by six points. Aish has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Punch by Bill Chambers. He's got the football now with the quick hands. Reed gets it back from Langdon. Wow, some of his hits border on felonious assault. Side bottom with the mark. Side bottom can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. That's a nice, strong mark. Main boots it. Great hands. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. Blair with the kick. Hooker with good strong hands. That kick has covered a very long distance. Takes that one strongly. A nice long kick by Miller. The contest, no match for him. Choose to kick it. The contest, no match for him. Sends it on its way. Marks. It's a beautiful angle right where you need it. He kicks it. Going, going. Bing, bang, stick that in. Thanks for coming. This game is getting more exciting by the second.
Ruckman awaiting the bounce. The ball is bounced. Oxley knocks it down the field. The ball in the hands of Langdon. Gets boot to high. We'll get a rich over for this stats. Both teams near equal in terms of kicking stats. Collingwood with 25 and Essendon with 20. It doesn't get much closer than that. Hmm, that's pretty deep, Richo. The second quarter has been... Just make a total effort, even when the odds are against you. Grundy just got cleaned up and sent back to Neverland. The loose ball picked up by Mayne. He gains possession. Exclamation point. How about that? He's got the football now. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Ash with a 45 degree angle in front of him. Picked the goal by Elliott. Elliott slots the goal. That's his first. The Magpies by a goal. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. You can see it on his face. He's happy with that effort. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Lewenberger with the hit. He's got the footy in his hands. Lobs the pass. He gets another possession. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Marked by Watson. Watson sends one up towards the wing. Kicked in a flurry. Wells takes an uncontested mark. Wells is really starting to get into the right positions on the ground. Puts boot to ball. Heppel marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. That's a nice strong mark. Kelly puts his boot on it. Really solid use of the body to outmark his opponent. Kicked by Hooker. Pointless attempt by Watson. Brown gains possession through the interception. These possessions just keep ticking over for Heppel. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. The contest no match for him. Green in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. 40 metres out. You're back in from this position. This could see the scores even. Essendon kept the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. That's number three. Goal for goal now. There's one for the time capsule. Green shows the goal umpire the right signal. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. More bounce than a dodgy chip. Batted down nicely by Gluenberger. There'll be a ball up in the center square. Grundy really gets onto this one. Off the ground. Gains possession. Langdon gets the ball. He gets tackled as he hands it off. With the ball now. Boots it. A solid mark from Greenwood. Greenwood is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. He gets boot to the ball. Merritt drops the ball. He steals the ball on the bounce. Heppel kicks it. Kicks. Taken by Langford. His stab kick once killed a small dog. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. The dog was huge. He has a mighty kick of the footy. Takes it well. Lobs the handball. Pendlebrick sinks the long kick. Collingwood with only a one goal lead. Pendlebrick obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Grundy right in the path of Blumenberger. He gets the hand pass. Wins the hard ball. Picture perfect drop punt. Great grab. Merritt, he's very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. 
Brown boots it long. Langford with great hands. Langford shoots for goal. Langford gets the goal. Richo, this match keeps getting better and better. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Langford chose the goal umpire the right signal. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Clean tap by Gluenberger. The ball is on the ground and it's picked up by Pendlebury. Main has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Slams it on the boot. Good mark by Blair. Pasola gets the upper hand. 40 meters from home. Kicks. He was never going to get that. An easy interception for McDonald, Tip and Woody. Badly getting a free kick there. Jams it on the boot now. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Goddard is a freak at understanding and anticipating his opponent's actions. Watson boots it. Bird really forced to earn that mark. He kicks the ball, side bottom, with good strong hands, sending it on its way. Lewenberger takes a contested mark. He boots it from the pack. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. Has it got the carry? The big kick for goal goes straight through. That's his first. That's two in a row for the Bombers. A one goal advantage for Essendon. About as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. He loves it. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Look at that bounce. Lewenberger, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Gee, a long kick there. Pendlebury marks the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Main with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Can't separate these two teams now if he kicks this one. This is edge of your seat footy. All is in readiness. Bounce goes the ball. Punched by Reed. The bouncing ball is controlled. Ball up in the center square. Reed timing terrible. He's leaving his messages before the beat. The loose ball picked out. He's got the football now. Oxley with the football. Boots it. A good mark under the circumstances. Goldsack is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. He gets boot to the ball. The mark will be paid. Bird slams the ball to his boot. Merritt takes the mark. He boots it. Howe picks up the loose ball. Hand passes to the running man. Hoskin Elliott gets the mark without contest. Takes that one strongly. Strong mark. He boots it. It's going. Let's go to Richo now and take a look at the stats. The stats show that both teams are practically kick for kick with neither willing to let the other have a kicking advantage. Much appreciated, Richo. It's half time and both teams will be deep in discussion at the moment. Second half is underway. The best athletes in the world are those willing to push harder than anyone else and go through more pain than anyone else too. Marks. Here's a chance for Elliot. A chance to add one more to his tally. I'm lost for words after that kick. Can you help me out, Richo? That was one of the worst shots at goal I've ever seen. Hurley waiting to bring it back into play. 
wins the hard ball. He keeps his cool under pressure and kicks the ball out. Pendlebury winds it up. Testing shot outside the 50. Pasolik, the better man there. 35 metres out. Pasolik launches one towards goal. The last two goals. Collingwood by seven points. To Solo, he's good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Very happy with that kick. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Lewenbergic with the tap, bump by Doxley, scoops up the ball. Lewenbergic slams it on the boot, Brown with the mark. Kicks it. Green claims the ball. A long way out. He's on a 30-degree angle. Green launches one towards goal. The kick just clears the line for a goal. Less than a goal of difference. Essendon still in with a chance. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. The ball bouncing well. Knocks it down in front. Hooker controls. Crisp gathers it. Ends possession. Pendlebury a long way out. Aish claims it. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. Going for goal number three. Nice goal from Aish. Good things coming through as that's his third. The Magpies by seven points. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Very happy with that kick. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Great bounce. Lewenberger didn't even get close to that tap. Just in time with that kick. Blair controls it. The loose ball picked up. Grundy heads in for the goals. Pendlebury collects it. Yet another possession. Superb handball. The ball mopped up. He's got the football now. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, super work from him in this match, Dennis. That's two in a row for the Magpies. Collingwood leads by 13. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Blair loves that. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Reed taps. Handballs from the tackle. Main going for number one. I don't know if you can see it from back there, but it's a goal. Main kicks his first. The kick is about as straight as a shopping trolley, and it's a goal. His teammates rush over. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Bounce goes the ball. Lewenbergic with the punch. Bird passes. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. Oxley there to mop it up. That doesn't look too good. He must be injured. That looks nasty. He'll be rushed to the rooms for medical treatment. Don't think, though, he'll be coming back. Gets boot to leather. Handball short. Crisp with the kick. Nice hands. Puts boot to ball. Nice contested mark by Frisola. 
looking for another goal here. Goal for Solik getting his fourth right there. The Magpies could score the last four goals. Collingwood with a handy break leading Essendon 67 to 42. For Solo, it's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Lucky we have that goal recorded because it was first rate. Vasolik with the goal and he runs back into position. All is in readiness. The bounce, laser straight. Batted down nicely by Blumenberger. He handballs it, gathers the ball. Hastily kicked. Oscar Elliott boots it. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Out on the ball at the moment. He gets above the crowd. Chips it down towards half forward. Main lines it up. Slams it on the boot. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Bagley needs to do a little bit more work on his jumping. He can get some good height, but it's the timing that's not quite there. Nice bit of power then. How? With the mark. He gets boot to the ball. Myers marks the ball. Puts boot to ball. The contest, no match for him. Gets boot to high. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Sends the Sharon on its way. Opportunity now for Brown. Nice drop punt. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. 30 metres from home. Going for goal number five. A goal for Essendon. The Bombers are in real trouble now. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Umpire bounces the ball. Lewenberger has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. Hoskin Elliott puts his boot on it. He gets boot to the ball. Blair with a strong mark. He boots it. Fasolo takes the mark. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. Well, he gave it a shot. That play is as high-tech as it can for him. Nice kick. Main for the second goal. The Magpies by 25. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Lewenberger is just a real workhorse in the ruck, and I reckon his teammates really appreciate his uncomplicated approach to the game. Essendon patrolling. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Nice bounce. Effective hit out there. Crisp controls it. The ball is socket. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Bill Chambers kicks. Oscar Elliott presents and takes the mark. Jams it on the boot. Nice contested mark by Wells. Gets boot to high. Nice hands. Bumps the big skin. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Keeps it close to the ground. Strong mark. Chris, it's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. Sending it on its way. He gets the upper hand. He kicks the ball. Hooker with the mark. Puts boot to ball. Reed with the ball. Slams it on the boot. A solid mark from Blair. Distance could be the problem. It's kicks like that when players find out this really is a game of centimetres. The Magpies by 20 points.
Richo, what do the stats tell us? Marks are fairly close on the scoreboard with the Magpies on 58 and the Bombers on 49. Both teams fairly close in the tackling stats. The Bombers 29, Collingwood 24. You always have that unique perspective on things, Richo. It's time for the final quarter. The more difficult the victory, the greater the happiness in winning. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. Dunn slams the ball onto his boot, trying to get it away as quickly as possible. Handballs from the tackle is in his possession. He gathers the loose ball. Pendlebury, a good crummer. Greenwood marks it. Well, Collingwood could manage to rack up a big number of marks. It's easy to see why they're leading this match. He boots it. He grabs it for Solo, getting into position for the kick. He slams that on the boot. Elliot really forced to earn that mark. Elliot thumps the ball for goal. Took up the goal for the Magpies. Elliot kicks number two, and that puts them further in front. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. A dead straight bounce. Lewenberger wins the tap. Terrible timing by Grundy. Gets the ball free. Watson throws it. Clear as day. Puts boot to ball. Heppel was surrounded. He needed to mark it, and he did. Heppel's just got a lot of tricks in the bag, which makes him so very hard to stop. He's also got an amazing highlight reel. Side bottom with the kick. Crisp with good strong hands. He boots it. Kelly with a strong mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop punch. Great mark. Hook it with no time to delay with that kick. Maynard tries his luck along the ground. Goes short with a hand pass. He's running hot, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. Sends it on its way. Pendlebury claims it. Pendlebury, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. He slams that on the boot. Blair with the ball. He kicks the ball. Bagley marks the ball. He slams that on the boot. He takes the contested mark. Hooker sends one up towards the wing. Lewenberg knows he needs to hang on to them. Very quiet by his standards. He handballs it. She's running hot, Richo. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Good drop punt by Hooker. Marks. Merritt can be very consistent. He does still need to do some more work to make sure he brings his A game to every match. That's a nice, strong mark. He kicks the ball. Green misses the ball. Maynard pushing his opponent in the back then. Hocking has the chance to add one more to his tag. Slots it. That's number two. Essendon with a score here. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. Great bounce. Tapped by Grundy. Able to grab it on the half volley. With the ball now. Pendlebrick making his way in. Let's hope he's compensated for the win. What a goal from the mammoth kick. The lead has been increased by Pendlebrick. The replay capturing everyone's attention. What a goal. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The bounce is straight as an arrow. Good tap from Lewenberger. Reed picks up the bouncing ball. Crisp runs past and gets the ball. That ball is becoming a yo-yo for him. It keeps coming back. Handballs from the tackle. Gains possession. He gets his hands on the footy. He gains possession. He gets his hands on the footy. Blair in the back. Bagley with a perfect drop punt. Takes that one strongly. Watson. It's got a decent leap on him, but there's still some room for improvement. Zaharakis marks it. He boots it. Merritt marks the ball. He kicks the ball. Kept his composure then. 
Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Let's have the shot at goal is as good as the delivery. Brown will be kicking from, as they would say, downtown. Chalk up a goal for the Bombers. Essendon are in some real trouble here. And that goal is right off the top shelf for him. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. Bounce goes the ball. Big thump from goal set. The ball mopped up. Sweeping handball. Lewenberger kicks. Good mark by Hawking. Distance could be the problem. Kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. 35 meters out. Now this shouldn't be too hard for ground. Football is not and never has claimed to be a fair game. This game almost out of reach for Essendon. Dunn has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Sends the Sharon on its way. Maynard clearing it out of defense. Kolsak looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Collingwood, which has been so dominant in the marking contest, and it's given them the perfect platform to kick a winning score. Pendlebury kicks the ball. Big steadies now in front of goal. Broomhead kicks the ball. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. Receives the hand pass. He kicks the ball. Lewenberger with beautiful hands above the head. He really is a great target to kick to. Watson with the football. Wow, what a nose for those loose balls. Wells with the chip. The mark is taken by Hooker. Kicks. Takes it well. Merritt puts it on the boot. Strong mark. That drop punt works well for Peppel. Solid as a rock and he comes away with a lovely contested mark. Jams it on the boot now. Lewenberger from behind. Kicks it across the ground. He takes control of the loose ball. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. Yes, he's had it again, Dennis. He just seems to be everywhere tonight. He just can't get out of the action. They're gaining momentum here. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. He's excited about that one. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. A dead straight bounce. Lewenberger aims for his man on the ground. What a turnaround. The Magpies certainly fought an uphill battle to win. Richard, what did you make of the final result? The day you take complete responsibility for yourself, the day you stop making any excuses, that's the day you start your climb to the top. Final scores are 86 to 73. Thanks for joining us. As always, it's been a pleasure. We look forward to seeing you back soon.